Hi, my name is Lindsay Woodmeyer, and I'm an Applications Engineer for Hawkridge Systems. Today we're going to be covering the creation of custom mill tools in CamWorks. So I've opened a sample part here. Um, I've already got it programmed. and I'm just going to show you the quick and easy way to uh, customize some of the library tools that we've already got. Um, so you can right click on one of the tool paths and you're going to choose Edit Definition. And the first tab that opens up is your tooling tab. So uh, basically you can just change these uh, dimensions in here. So you can use the arrows and they're going to change in the preview as well. Uh, I'd like a quarter inch tool so I can just type it in. And then I can preview it on the right hand side here as well as in this preview window. If you're not sure what you're changing, you can choose this preview uh, check mark and behind the preview tab is a diagram showing exactly what you're going to change in this window. So you want to be sure that you're changing the comment as well to match what size the actual tool is. And then press OK. So this is going to automatically change your tool. So another option is to uh, create your tool from scratch. So sometimes I download uh, the CAD files straight from a tool manufacturer's website. Um, this, for example, is a DXF that I uh, downloaded. You can also get CAD files uh, such as STLs, uh, DXF, uh, tons of different file formats. Um, but I find the easiest way is to create the sketch and then just revolve it. So I'm going to open um, the DXF that I got from the website. And then once this import window comes up, we want to import the 2D sketch. We don't want to import a drawing, just the 2D sketch. Press Next. And then we only want the layers that are going to show the uh, outline of the tool. So we can turn everything else off because we just need the uh, outline. Okay, and then I like to work with a white background, so I'm going to choose the white background and press finish. So this is asking me if I want to explode the blocks option. I don't want it to come in as a block because I want to manipulate it, so I'm going to choose yes. And then because I want the outline, I'm just going to delete all the lines that are uh, inside this drawing. So I can just window over them and that'll quickly select them and then we can delete them. Okay, so there's my outline. And we want to create a custom tool. We want everything to be in this uh, upper right, uh, right hand quadrant of the origin. So I'm just going to select this and uh, choose my rotate entities under my move command. And the center of rotation is going to be the origin. And then I'm going to rotate it uh, 90 degrees. Okay, and then I want to just move this uh, up. So I'm going to click on my start point and select the bottom of the tool and put that on the origin. Okay, and then I'm just going to draw a center line in the center of this tool because I'm going to trim the left hand side of the tool off. And this way I don't have extra geometry. I'm just going to trim this piece here as well to make it clean. And at this point you could uh, dimension it. And I'm just going to revolve it here. And it just wants to automatically close the part. So we've closed it. And now we've got our tool. Then we're going to come into the CamWorks tab and we're going to choose our user defined tool. So this automatically pops up this preview. If, the, if there's nothing in the preview box, there's probably something wrong with the uh, sketch that you've created. It's either not in the right quadrant um, or the size is wrong, that kind of thing. Um, so this is definitely a good check to make sure that you're on the right track. Your options here are mill, t mill tool, mill holder, or turn insert. So uh, these two are your other options. Um, but right now we're going to create the mill tool. 
Um, so we're going to save this, and it's just saved as part one. And then we're going to actually put it in the technology database. So we're going to op open that up and choose our tooling, and then our form cutters, and then user defined tools. So I've already actually got this tool set up in here. So uh, we can go back to the drawing and check all of the uh, dimensions here. And then you can just type them in all of the given spaces here. And then this last section here, it's uh, tool name and path. So that we want to choose the correct path for this part. So we saved it as part one. So we'll open that. And then we'll close out of here. And then I've already got a part open here, so um, I'd like to put this new tool in our pattern project on this last uh, tool path here. I'm just going to use a contain area for this tool path. And then I'm going to go ahead and select the new tool within the tool path. So we're going to go back to edit definition. And we're going to choose tool crib tab. And then the add button. Um, under this select filter, we're going to choose a uh, user define tool and we'll press OK. And this last tool, tool 13, is my test tool. So we'll choose OK. And then we come down to the bottom of the uh, menu here and select that test tool and choose select. And it says, do you want to replace the corresponding holder? Yes, yeah, sure. And then we've already got our tool uh, in the preview here. So we can press OK, and it's going to regenerate the tool path. So as you can see, um, it's called test under our tool path here. So we want to change that as soon as this is generated, um, just so that we know exactly what tool we're using. So we'll just go back into Edit Definition. And under Test, I'm going to put the 3 quarter inch ball nose and press OK. And now we can see that it's in there. So at this point, you can uh, fully simulate it or do your step through tool path. So I'm just going to step through this part here. And there's our new tool. In today's video, we covered how to change existing tools as well as how to create your own custom tools in CamWorks.